Hi there. Thank you so much for stopping by to our wonderful platform. Kindly subscribe, like and share if you haven't done so. So today we're having one of the wonderful scholarship for undergraduate applicants only, not for masters or PhD, only undergraduate, known as GIST or Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology University offering full funded scholarship including the flight ticket, monthly allowance, settlement allowance, books and tuition fee, everything covered. Where to be studying? In a country known as South Korea. So let's dive and take you step by step about the necessary document, requirement, eligibility criteria and step by step how to apply. So make sure you stick until the end of the video. But you can support the channel by liking, share and subscribe but also you can donate on Patreon. Let's get started. We are on the official website now as you see at the link will be on the description box below so kindly check but also if you are looking for full funded scholarship for undergraduate masters and phd check the link pinned down there on the comment section or description box so that will be easier to find to study in europe asia middle east anywhere anywhere back to the video on the official website over here, when you scroll down, you can see the admission or application was open for 2021 and it is opened on January 20 and will be closing on March 15. So over here, when you scroll down, you can see it has been up, opened and here we got this option eligibility application process and the required document. So when you click like for eligibility now, you will be brought here, you can see candidate, you must have been graduate or you make sure you graduate before August, before August 31st. So if you are still at school now in high school, in your last year, but you are able to graduate before August 2021, you can apply. But for you, if you are watching this and you are going to graduate next year, make sure you apply the next year. And you should not be a citizen of this, but no majority of you, you aren't citizen of this country. The required documents for you to apply this opportunity. So going to the required document, you can see you are required to fill the application form and to get one recommendation letter from the school where you're coming from. And the high school profile, high school or the transcript, you are transcript. If you are still in school, you can use a transcript. If you have graduated, you are requested also a transcript or your certificate, high school diploma or certification of expected graduation you can get it from the school that saying when are you going to graduate like that you can get it from there your high school but also english proficient state test score report also is needed standardized official test score report passport copy of your part of your of you applicant and both your parents they need to make sure your parents aren't korean and official document of parent or child relationship in case you are less than 18 years. A statement of financial resources. But this option also you can keep your honors or awards which you got up to now when you are studying. So finishing that, you can go and check on the scholarship now. This part over here, the benefits. You can see the tuition fee waived without any condition. You are given a student allowance listed over there, meal allowance, international student allowance, achieved a GPA of at least 3.0 out of the same previous semester, also settlement subsidiary, and the flight reimbursement, one-way flight after one month of studying the first semester. So tuition fee is covered for, they pay for you for four months, which is eight semester so how to apply we're gonna go to that so let me bring you back to the official website here when you click on the application process here you'll be brought over here whereby you need you need first to read the application guide careful after you have read the application guide careful you access the online application you create an account we go on with all this you can read here a lot of the information so click go on to the online application or simply you can just click on the menu and you click application then on application come down click apply now clicking on that link now will be brought into this page as you see so we need to come here and 
the page yeah we need to come here and we need to application deadline you can see there admission guide find your password the recommendation letter and where to upload and application results but still over here there is one thing when you apply you can also check the recommendation letter if your recommender has recommended you online so so are you a referee for applicant we we'll click here your recommender and upload the so for us because we are new we need to sign up click sign up then we need to to start by typing our surname then your first name then middle name if you got if you don't have the date of birth you need to type over there guys you can choose easily choose from the up above over here so then you come the gender you select you come marital status you select telephone you put your mobile number over there if it's plus two five five then you go with your um, nationality you select you can type or the area you type your area zip code you type your zip code then you come the corresponding address you keep your address how you write in your country recruitment is it government or you can see it has been come here down already filled so you don't need it to then you come here down you create and you keep your email there guys let me put my password click save so click also privacy you come you read the privacy then you check here so after registration now you can you can come now you see the form has opened up starting with the detail there you can put here you can upload your image over here guys but also you can see your detail here about the marital status the area where you're studying the password you kept the special note if you want to put the detail let me start side by side the form is too slow you see here the best zip code proposed the date of start it is full already you select the desired image if you understand you see here the fields are variable we see physics correction concentration chemistry mechanic so i choose maybe i want to do electrical engineering and com computer science then you come here down we are requested if you go this way for the personal information collection you check that final school graduation or current school you type here the name of the school which you are expecting to graduate or you are you are you will graduate or which you graduated already from and other detail here above marital status you can select and fill then you come down on this part here about the recommendation now please submit the information who will provide the recommendation for you you type their name here and the high school the school from the school which they are recommending from then their office you add you start plus plus is there you put the country code then you put their mobile number over there but make sure you inform them then you select here the position the the cell phone if they they got it this about recommendation then you can click to save there after that you come to the part for disorder now disorders if you got any disability or any disorders guys so over here you select the physical condition if you got any impairment maybe blind communication you select if you have impairing or if you don't have you don't feel learning you select there you come here once everything is okay you 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 can scroll down again scroll down to application information language proficiency of korean you select here if you is fair or nani you can choose nani if you don't know then then you, when you come here is 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 english your native language you can say yes or no depending how did you come to know about the gist you select here is it through the scholar the advisor academic branch or someone who is under gist or social media 
then is your English language is is English language of instruction at your home institution? You should select yes if you are coming from an English teaching institution. Institution. Then if no, what is your native language? You can type there. So you should check this yes so that you won't be required requested for the lang English proficiency test. Then when you scroll down here, you have the part for the verification about education you check that box number school name point of contact person then you can scroll here and see the official site contact information then you can come high school information is required there then you come the part here for education you fill admission date graduation date you you check like you fill the number the admission date which you are admitted at that school which you are studying the high school then graduation date which you graduated or expected graduation date the school name the country which you studied the series the gpa you got if there is not in gpa you should gpa renting right there maybe a hundred grading system then you can save and you can add here another school if you need to add then you come down here about family members detail you you click to add you click you click here to add there's an add icon when you add you put their name so you click here like to add then it opens up now you select the relationship which you wanna select you select here if you wanna add grandfather then you come the name where you type you come where you type after you after you finish you'll be saving there but you also can delete in the occupation then you come here down you fill your details about official test scores then you check that you come to this part here, here validity, this side you check to add, then you can add up, then you can scroll down, file list the document which you need to upload, as they said there, like the English proficiency test, the, your passport copy, your transcripts, then the study plan and the self-introduction, you should write it over here then key achievements if you got any you put them over here then reasons to study in korea and at this gist or guangzhou institute of science and technology so then you come the study plan and the career vision you write it over here and then when your application is complete you come here down you click submit so that's how the application is done very easy like a majority of the question are available but you need to take time but also can be saving you go out and you come back later on you feel again so that was all about this video don't forget to like share and subscribe other videos about bachelors masters and phd see on the description box below see you in south korea doing our undergraduate but make sure the courses you choose here are for four years they don't offer five years which include which means medicine and other department longer taking and offered